Hi, I'm Hiroyuki Tanjo in Rafting. I introduced the process of front-end development using Generator RFF. Generator RFF is a Yoma generator. So if you are new to Yoma, you have to install Yo at first. And then install Generator RFF with G global option. Let's create a new web app project. Make directory and move into the folder. And then run yo rff. The yoman asks some questions to configure the project. This generator has presets for quick start, but I select custom configuration this time. At first, set the project name, and you can choose your favorite languages to develop the front end. This generator provides helpful utilities. Activate icon font generator and add Mocha testing framework and skip server add-ons and libraries. And the generator includes many optimization tasks. Check them all. And I check both deployment features Git and FTP. You can save the configuration and reuse it in other project. Okay, then generate a project. Wait a few moments. After the generation, you can see the files in the project folder. Now you have the boilerplate, config for grant tasks, and all modules were automatically installed. Basically, you develop your web contents in the app folder. I have updated the index.html for this demonstration. Let's check the page in the preview server. Run grant serve to start dev server. The browser will open the page automatically. This is a demo content. For now, this page is not stylized. So I install a CSS framework of course, you can type vowel install something in the terminal, but this time, I use the RFF GUI application. Open the library manager, and you can see the list of vowel components. I search bootstrap and install the latest version. This operation is the same as executing power install bootstrap save in the terminal. After the installation, the page is styled with bootstrap automatically, like this. This is because the bootstrap CSS and JavaScript are downloaded and wired to the HTML. So the toolkit plugin is also working now. And let's see the page with other browser. Open the iOS simulator and access to localhost. Please look at both browsers carefully. Yes, the scroll is synchronized. This is one of the feature of browser sync server. Lo and behold, the action is also synchronized. Check, check. Of course, the input is mirrored too. And also, these features work on the external devices as well. Browser sync is really useful for developing a responsive design or testing with multiple platforms. Next, update the content. Rewrite heading text and save. The browser is updated instantly without manual reloading. The same can be said about the style C. I'll update the color of the box. This is a SAS file for the contents. Set the white color to the text, background color red. Good. The SAS file is compiled to CSS and affects browser. At the same time, the star appeared in the iOS simulator too. I show one more magic. 
about the styling. Some CSS3 properties, such as gradient, require vendor prefix for applying in old browsers. But in this project, you don't need to code vendor prefixes. Just write the original property once. Now the box has background gradient. And let's check the actual CSS. Yeah, this section. Yes, the additional vendor prefix properties appeared here. You can keep the compatibility for old browsers so easily. Then, I'll try to use CSS sprites and icon font generator. This is a single PNG image named Rakuten PNG. Save it into the sprites folder in this project. Normally, for using CSS sprites, you have to create a sprite sheet image and code a complex CSS. But now, only you have to do is markup. Duplicate this section, change the title beforehand, and just set up the class name. This is it. Inspect the element. This isn't an image element, background image. These icons are connected in the sprite seed. CSS sprite is good for web performance. Next, generate a font icon. This is the original SVG and save into the glyphs folder. It is more complicated to create a font file, but you have only to mark up with class. Clone this and Modify the class name. Amazing! The icon is here. And this element is not SVG. This is rendered using web font and CSS. Okay, next step. After the modification, stop the server and move on to the build task. Grant. The grant task executes linter and testing at first, and then output the file for deployment. The files are put in the disk directory. Code is optimized by HTML minifier, and the JavaScript is merged to a single file and uglified. And also, every asset file is renamed to hashed string according to the content. It brings proper caching to the client browsers. Finally, let's deploy the build contents in two ways. First, deploy over FTP. Type grant FTP deploy. Yeah. The contents are delivered to external server now. The target server is predefining the grant config. And I show another deployment, distributing build files to git repository. Before that, commit the changes in this branch. Okay, then grant build control to transfer the build files to the external repository. This is the information. Check the repository. Yes, this rip contains build files only. This is a minified JavaScript. And files are version controlled under the Git. This commit is automatically created and pushed by the previous grant task. You can assign any repository or branch to this task. That's it. Generator RFF supports the total workflow of front-end. Project building, development, preview, testing, optimization, and deployment. Thank you so much. Have a good development.